What is good everyone? It is Susie back with another video. If you are new, welcome. So for this week's video, I thought it would be really fun to do some like room decor and DIYs because if you don't follow me on my Twitter, then you won't know that I have gone back to school. And back to school for me means like clean up your act, clean up your room, all that stuff for me. But I like to jazz up my life a little bit whenever school gets around. So I created like maybe two or three DIYs to kind of jazz up your room and get you ready for the day in the morning during school. So let's get right into it. So for this first DIY, you are going to be making your own hanging bulletin board where you can clip on your own pictures and information instead of poking holes into your bulletin board. So what you're gonna do is take out your yarn and I like to have all my supplies on hand like my push pins so what I do is I put them in a cup and right now I am just push pinning the yarn into my bulletin board so it creates a little diagonal line so I can clip my pictures onto it and make sure it's sturdy afterwards so this is the finished product make sure that all your lines are evenly spread apart or fairly largely spread out uh, so I got those mini clothespins at Walmart for maybe a dollar and they are perfect for hanging up your pictures. This is a DIY shower cap that I came up with one day because I didn't have one, so let's go. So what you will do is you need to take a big gallon or jumbo hefty bag or Ziploc bag, whatever you want, and cut a square in it, but don't cut through the whole thing. Only cut a square out in the front, don't cut out the back. I know this is really hard to explain, but just watch and I hope you get the concept. So that is your DIY shower cap. I hope that made sense to you because it really works in the shower. I've tried it out and I was really impressed. So boom, there you go. Now we will be making a cactus desk decor. If you have not already, cut out a cactus shape from the car from a piece of cardboard or whatever you would like I used cardboard I think that was the easiest for me oh and by the way if you cut off a little cactus arm like I did don't worry we're gonna paint over it just tape it back together so right now we are in the craft room you will see me up here a lot if I do any more DIY videos so right now I am going to take some green acrylic paint and mix it with some silver and white to get a light green cactusy metallic color this is the color that I chose of course it will dry a little darker I hope I'm explaining this well just then paint that and let it dry So once your cactus is dry, first make sure it's dry, and then what you're going to do is you're going to be making a stand on the back for your cactus so it can stand up on your desk. So then what you'll do is you will take that piece of cardboard or whatever you cut out the cactus on and you're going to be cutting like a triangle shape so you can have a stand as you can see I'm doing. So here is the triangle that I told you guys about that I cut out. As you can see, it will be hot glued onto the back of the cactus. So this is the hot gluing station. What I'm doing is I'm hot gluing the triangle, the flat part of the triangle, to the back of the cactus towards the middle. And I just wanted to make sure that it was sturdy on either side. So what I did was I took the hot glue gun and I just brought it along the 
corner edge as you can see. Now once you have finished, you can take it back over to your workstation and as you can see I have glued the stand on so that it stands up but this is completely optional you can draw a cute face on it I always do this with my decor because I see a youtuber called Nim C she has the cutest videos I will so link her channel down below so there you have it your own DIY cactus Decor. Isn't he just the cutest little thing ever? Thank you guys so, so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe because you know what? I'm a hashtag simple peach. Also, go Check out the links to my social medias in the description because I just posted a new Instagram photo. Go like it. I've always wanted to try like DIYs by other DIY YouTubers such as Karina Garcia, Laura DIY, Wingy, and Nimsy. So if you would like me to do that, please comment down below and like this video. Thank you guys so, so much again for watching and peace out. I got this feeling